Good morning. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Indiana, and we were not carried off by any specters during the wild hunt, so we are up, and we're excited for coffee and the first pipe of the day. Um, I think this morning's the morning. I'm going to open the, uh, the Brevia. The Latakia Flake number nine. And a lot of recommendations say just pair it with a strong cup of black coffee. And that's my favorite thing to pair tobacco with, anyways. This is actually my first cup of coffee. I have only been awake long enough to make a pot of coffee. Um, and decide what pipe I want. But uh, I'm going to smoke this this morning out of my little stylish little Paul here. Um, this is kind of like my morning English blend pipe. Maybe an after tea or a Levensies pipe. It's, it's very stylish. Um, this was another flea market score. Um, I paid ten dollars for this and it had never ever been smoked um and it just says um for a year on it which is just briar um you know other than that i'm not really sure of a maker or anything like that i found a few things with the um just by searching it in Breer instead of Briar, um, some Tyrolean, some Boom Paul stuff. I found some similar pipes, but nothing exact. So, you know, I really can't say anything with utter confidence, except for the fact that it's a very cool pipe. Um, it's got a tiny bowl, which is going to be good for this um, Brevia, especially because I just woke up, I haven't had anything to eat so i don't know if this is a the nick hit on this is going to be light medium strong so we'll find out but uh yeah i i've also read that um this tobacco like if you want to age tobacco that there's hardly a better choice than this um so I want to open it up and get it in a jar so that that aging process can begin. And um, I know that it's cheaper online. This one was one of the more extensive, expensive tins. Um, so, you know, I don't want to go crazy buying a bunch of it yet. But I have a feeling I'll probably need to get a few more tins at least. So let me open this thing here. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, I can already smell it. That musty Latakia. I feel like really strong, um, or I should say really heavy Latakia blends, or anything with just like a really nice quality Latakia. When you open it, that aroma wafts at you like a fine cave age cheese so it's wrapped up real nice like all tobaccos um, oh now see this is awesome they send you this looks like maybe it could be made a label oh no it's just the topper okay I thought maybe it was a sticker at first. A selection of the world's finest tobaccos, hand-blended for your smoking pleasure. You probably can't see that because of the glare. A lot of things I've read about this, people just say it's just a good, honest tobacco. No flavorings, no toppings, no BS, just pure, high-quality tobacco. That's what we like around here.
Mm. It's got like a sweet, almost like a smoky smell with a bite. Now I, um, obviously living up in Maine forever, um, I relied all winter long on firewood. It was my only source of heat. So I've split and stacked a countless amount of hardwoods in my life. And I was always kind of a weirdo about it. You know, if I split one that had a particularly beautiful grain, I would look at it. I'd have to just really smell that wood. And it was almost like when I would build the fires, I would be like, oh, well, I remember splitting you i remember smelling you let's see how you burn how it smells when it burns because that was always one of the um the many joys of a wood stove heat was just the excellent aroma of having a real fire and so a lot of these tobacco smells especially with the kind of like the sweet Cyprian Latakias and those um, Pariks and stuff that give you a lot of those earthy, musty, woodsy, kind of like incense type smoke smells. Um, I just love that because, and it always, it always reminds me of actual burning wood, like campfires and wood stoves and even barbecuing. And that's one, this one, this has a really sweet kind of a apple smell off the top to me almost like an apple brandy type, um, like there's a, I don't know, you know, like the quality the alcohol has when you smell it, where it's sweet, but there's a little bit of a sting or a bite to it. I'm going to guess that's the, um, Perique in there. And then just sweet, like, um, you know, like a glaze, like, uh, I've said it before about some of the other, um, Latakia, um, blends, and it's like, the best way for me to describe some of the smells is, you know, um, you can imagine a scene and whether you're coming through the woods or you're in a front yard and um, you can smell the smells around you of like wet forest or the wet grass or maybe hay um, that's drying in the sun and somebody's got their um, barbecue going and their smoker going and you can smell the different kinds of hardwoods and fruit woods mixing with the smell of that cooking meat and you get those really thick incense earthy smells from the wood and then you get the um, aromas from you know just the sweetness from whatever is also with the wood and the meat cooking all that and you get those nice really savory smells um, and I'm just a weirdo because I was so into splitting wood and smelling the, the logs that uh, my brain, I suppose, started to establish a pretty strong connection to the different smells of the different woods. And to this, to me, this one is very apple and oak. So, um, I don't know. Let's see how well you can see that. You know, I got to get this room set up more so I can get some different camera angles in here. Um, so you can actually look at the desk instead of behind it. Because I've got a pretty cool little setup in here. And the lighting might be a little bit better. But this is what I got for now. So, look at that beautiful stack of flakes. It's very dense for how small of an amount that is. It's very dense. I imagine it's going to be a very thick smoke so let's break a flake off here so here we go that's what i'm going to start with let's see if we get something to break this up on my uh culture magazine if you're a cheese enthusiast or if you just really enjoy charcuterie um this is a very fun magazine to subscribe to um they only come out quarterly so 
it really exercises your patience, especially if you're as excitable as I am. But, um, I mean, well, shit, there you go. Look, how about that? A four-tier cake made out of different types of blooming mold cheeses, some breeze and fruits. Doesn't that look delightful? I wish I was having that right now, too. Anyways, let's see. Okay, so let's break this up here. I wish I could um, show you more me actually breaking up so you could see how it's crumbling. But um, it is what it is. This uh, it's actually breaking up really fine when it feels really, really um, dense and moist. And then when you start to rub it out, it actually breaks apart really well and almost it's almost like bark like tree bark where it's moist but dry and brittle all at the same time it's, it's interesting like yeah like a cinnamon bark or tree bark the way it breaks off almost um so that's cool so probably uh you know i bet like this flake right here will probably be more than this little pipe can hold you know so let's get on with it to speed it up. Oh. All right. I haven't smoked out this pipe in a while, actually. Um, because I have certain pipes that I take on the road with me, and I usually only take one, I shouldn't say one, I usually take two or three blends with me. Um, I always take some kind of a proper English with me, something that's definitively Balkan, and then I'll pick like, uh, you know, a random something else. Might be Innerdale, it might be Cherry Pie, I don't know, it just really depends on what uh, strikes me in the moment to throw in my, my go bag. Um, and so I don't get to spend a lot of mornings here in the um, solarium. And that's also why I kind of rapid fire all my videos at you on the weekend. So, plus my wife and child are still in bed so this is papa time and for those of you who have families um, mornings with them are always very lovely but it's also really nice to have some time to yourself in the morning um, to collect your thoughts to have a few cups of coffee and um, get into a good uh, you know whatever a good like um, mental place before you have to deal with the demands and the high energy of children um, because you don't want to be grumpy with them they're too precious and innocent and full of pure joy for that so you gotta wake up Enjoy some nice coffee. And if you're me, have uh, some Brevia Lotta Kia Flake number nine. This is random before I light up, but check this out. That's pretty cool, right? The Trout Wizard. <laughs> well, I haven't been fishing in too long. Oh. All right, let's light it up. You know, the bowl on this is so small, I might actually need matches for this one. Or um, a smaller lighter. Let me grab one real quick. I think I left my matches in my truck.
I shouldn't say that the bowl is too small. I think it's that the topper here gets in the way of the pipe slip though. Very thick plumes of smoke immediately. I love that about Latakia blends. I like it because, you know, I was watching, I'm sure like all the rest of you, a lot of mutton chop piper videos over the years. And he's an advocate of it's not about how much smoke you can produce, but how much flavor you can sip of the tobacco and he's absolutely correct but isn't it just so much fun and so lovely when you can sip a blend and it still produces this thick velvety just exotic plumes of smoke i just love that robust but in a very good way not like a harsh robust um it's like a really well balanced there's a deepness to that smoke and the flavor is really deep mm, yeah There's sweetness to it. There's earthiness to it. I wouldn't say it's um a lap bomb, but the presence of a lot of Kia is definitely there. I'm not sure what types of Virginias are in it. Um, well, I see why people just say it's a good, honest smoke because it's not overly complex in the way that like, oh, you get this flavor and then it, it lingers into this flavor and then that flavor, you know, and so on and so forth. It, um, it just seems like it just is what it is and all the flavors are there but blended and balanced together in a way that you get them all at once i don't really think anything is overpowering another like i would say that all these tobaccos are truly um star players in this and that none of them are condiments and that's my opinion some people might disagree I suppose it just depends on how much you enjoy a lot of Kia, but um, this is definitely not a lot bomb. There's definitely like a tang, <coughs> excuse me, that you get with the, some of the Orientals, but it it's like evenly matched with everything else so it doesn't get it doesn't linger it's not overly tangy the perique is not overly spicy the latakia doesn't overpower the virginias yeah this is i think that was the the best description a good honest tobacco it's not a the flavor is fantastic but yeah it's not overly complex it just is what it is so if you like English blends, if you like blends that have Virginias, Orientals, Cyprian Latakia, and Perique, and especially if you want to age it, I don't think you'd go wrong with this.
Rebia Latakia Flake number nine. Um, I'm sure it's available in plenty of places online. I got it at the tinder box. Let's put it in a jar. I already got my label ready. I just need to put a date on it. Now, what do you guys do? I'm curious. I've seen where some people just take the whole thing and stuff it in a jar, which I can see is kind of fun, but um, I think I'm just going to take mine out and just put those beautiful flakes in there. Ooh, will they fit? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Just barely. I would break them up, but they're just so beautiful. Hopefully that fits all right. Let's see. I could get a bigger jar, but I didn't buy bigger jars. And if I keep stealing my wife's canning jars, she might get a little frustrated if I'm drooling. I wonder, I imagine that over time, if they live long enough to really age, that he probably can't see because of the glare. That being at an angle, it might start to sag a little bit. I might, a, a, at some point, transfer it into a larger jar, but I'm not going to be too picky for now. It's sealed. It's got air on it. It's been open. It can start to age. I'm going to put a date on it. It is the seventh... Day of the first month in the year of our Lord. Aha. Well, there you have it. Hope you guys all have an excellent Saturday morning. Hope you uh, enjoy a fine tobacco today, some good coffee, a nice craft intoxicant. Perhaps this evening we'll move on to some stout beers, maybe some more wine. But for now, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to enjoy this Brevia Latakia number nine. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. And I'm going to peruse through the pages of the Fellowship of the Smoke Ring. See you later.